She walked up to the stage in a standing ovation. Lamy was draped in a soft blue flowing Cinderella dress. What did I just do? I just described the properties of Lamy's dress, right? Do you know that carbon 2 oxide also has its properties? Some are physical properties, while others are chemical properties. Do you want to know them? Let's go. It is a poisonous, colorless, tasteless, and odorless gas. It is insoluble in water, but dissolves in a solution of ammoniacal copper 1 chloride. It is neither lighter or heavier than air, and is neutral to litmus paper. Chemically, it is a strong reducing agent. It reduces some metallic oxide to their metals, and it is oxidized to CO2. So we have lead oxide plus carbon 2 oxide to give you lead plus carbon 4 oxide. Today, we have learned that carbon 2 oxide has various properties, which include insolubility in water, neutral to litmus paper, it is poisonous, it burns in air with a faint pale blue flame to form CO2. So we have 2CO plus oxygen to give you 2 moles of carbon 4 oxide. It combines irreversibly with hemoglobin in the red blood cells to form carboxyhemoglobin, thereby preventing the red corpuscles from acting as an oxygen carrier. It combines with chlorine gas when exposed to ultraviolet light or passed over a catalyst of activated charcoal at 1,500 degrees Celsius to form carbonyl chloride. So we have carbon 2 oxide plus Cl2 to give you COCl2. This product, COCl2, is also known as phosgene and was employed as a poisonous gas in the First World War. It is now used in the manufacture of dye stuff. I'm sure you enjoyed today's lesson. See you in the next one.